Hi, I'm Golf Magazine Top 100 Instructor Tom Stickney. Continuing on in our TrackMan Educational Series, we want to talk about club path, we want to talk about face angle, and our face to path relationship. Now, we know that the ball mostly starts in the direction of the face and it curves away from the path with centered impact. Obviously, we also know that if you hit it on the toe, it can or the heel, it can exacerbate your face-to-path relationship or it can negate your face-to-path relationship, which we'll see here in a second. So let's go ahead and make a golf swing and we'll examine uh, our face-to-path relationship. All right, so there's the first swing in the morning. Here we go. And what do we see? Okay, we see a club path that is 8-4 to the left. All right, so that means that club pad is moving from out to in. Okay, I tend to cut the ball, so I tend to cut across it. All right, so we see that the club pad is moving to the left. The face angle is one degree closed. This is very important you understand. If you look at the down the line shot, you can see that that ball started left of my flag. Okay, very important. You can see the starting direction was two, three, left. All right. If you want the ball in a cut shot to start left of your target and fade to your target, the path has to be left, the face has to be right of the path, but still left of the target. And that's what we see right here. We see that the path is left, the face angle is left of the target, but it is right of the path by 7 degrees, and hence that ball cut. Okay, so it's very, very important you understand this face-to-path relationship. The, the way it works, once again, is it always goes path, face, target. Path, face, target. Because the ball starts in the direction of the face, curves away from the path with center impact. So let me try to draw one here, and let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get to go the other way. Hum it a little bit. All right, so what do we see? So now the club path went eight degrees into right field, okay? The face angle was five, six right, and the face to path was two, three. So we can see that the face was left of the path by two degrees. Okay, I kind of hung this golf ball, but you see it didn't quite hook back, so that means I hit it a little bit off the heel, so that's a little gear effect. What you're going to find is here's a prime example. Whenever you hit it off center, whether it be the toe or the heel, you can seriously impact your face-to-path relationship. This face-to-path relationship at negative 2-3 would is a perfect draw type of look. All right, that ball should have moved right to left, no problem. If I'd have hit it off the toe, it would have moved even further left. If I hit it off the heel, which I did, it obviously hung to the right a little bit. So remember, the face-to-path relationship is totally uh, correlated to your impact point. So your impact point can negate that face-to-path relationship. All right, so let's do it again. Let's try to hit a, a more of a straight shot. All right, so there's a little baby shot. I tried to hit pretty straight. All right, so what do we see? Club path basically dead down the line. Face angle basically dead down the line. So my face-to-path was 0.2, so there wasn't a big difference between my face and my path, okay? Hit it a shade off the toe, just a dimple or so, and that ball just just nudged just a couple feet left, 10 feet left. So what I want you to understand is that if you don't use Dr. Scholl's, the Odorex spray that you spray on the face, you will not understand where people are hitting it on the face. If you don't know that, then you could spend a whole time during a lesson or during a practice session working on the wrong things. Remember, the ball starts in the direction of the face and it curves away from the path with centered impact. What you're going to find is when you use your Dr. Scholl's, you'll be amazed at how one dimple right or one dimple left in the sweet spot invokes some gear effect and how big and how important that gear effect can be when you start hitting shots. So once again, ball starts the face, curves away from the path with centered impact that gear effect can negate your face-to-path relationship. All right, so if you'll take the time to experiment with that, you'll have a lot of fun.